Hello everyone. How is it where you're at? It's pretty cold where I am. It's been in the 20s. Snowed. We had a windstorm. A bunch of trees fell down. Now we need to know that we got our cold gear ready. So this is a video review for the North Face Jim Beanie. Now I've done a review of different North Face hat on my channel previously. You might want to check out. I'm going to put a link and a little reader thing on the top so you can see the compare and contrast. I may do a video for compare and contrast. But right now we're going to focus on the Jim Beanie here. This is last year's model. They have new models for this year, but it's the same thing, just different colors. So I have navy blue and black, and if you look on the North Face website now, they have different color choices. That's because I bought these last year. But it's the same thing. So here's the review part. So they're identical, one's just a different color. Now, what I like about these, is you can't see it on the black as well as the navy blue here, is this fleece liner is like wearing a headband, right? But the rest of the material breathes pretty well, right? So up in this area here, if the wind is blowing, you'll feel it in your hair, which you may or may not like, depending on the conditions, right? Now I have nice coat, hat, gloves, wool socks. I have nice pants that I can wear that are snow pants that are insulated. I can wear um, sweats underneath them. So I can wear a lot of layers and I have all nice expensive North Face stuff that's you know built for the conditions that I live in. And because I like to go out hiking in the mountains, which it's even colder when you get up into the higher elevation, and then you gotta deal with all the snow and the trees being everywhere and the animals, but you know, that's part of the adventure. So this is a great hat. I've been wearing this and a different type depending on what the weather has been like. Some days it's cold, but not windy. So I'll wear this on other days when it's cold and windy, I'll wear the other type hat that has a little bit more insulation to it. I would say the material doesn't breathe as well and it's a lot thicker and you definitely notice the difference between the two when you're wearing it. What I like about these is it's warm but it's not too warm. When you have a lot of layers on you can start to actually sweat and when it's cold and windy that's not a good thing. I like to take walks on my lunch break along the trail and it's pretty nice right along the water but if I have too many layers on, well, then I start to sweat. And so what comes off first is either the hat or the gloves, because you want your extremities to be warm, right? So I think it depends also too on what your sensitivity is to hot and cold. Me, I hate the heat. I'm okay with the cool temperature, but I don't really like the wind. So the wind is pretty scary to me because I've been in the woods where trees have fallen and that's pretty scary when a big, big tree that's been there for, you know, a century or more finally gives up and falls down. I mean, it's pretty scary when you're out there by yourself. Same with all the trees that fall down. Like there's a tree um, against the power line. Literally the power line was holding the tree up. So it's going to take some time for people to come and clean all that up. And it's super cold, so they're gonna need good gear. Now you need gear that keeps you warm, but doesn't make you sweat, right? So when I'm out hiking in the mountains, I like these hats because they'll keep me warm, but I won't be too warm. I'm gonna be moving, right? I'm gonna have a backpack full of gear. I'm gonna have water. I'm going to have survival gear, other knife, firearm. I'm gonna have my utility tools. So I'm carrying a lot of metal, right? I've got three liters of water or less. Usually three liters is the size I carry. Then I have the backpack weight, my clothes weight, the weight of my leather boots, which are heavy, but I like the leather boots. So I've got quite a bit of gear. So I don't necessarily need the thickest hat or the thickest gloves. I bought these North Face gloves that are for like the snow, I would say like skiing, snow, whatever. And those, they're great. The waterproof insulation, but they're too much. And it's got the sausage fingers. So it literally, in order for me to wear those, 
it better be 20 degrees or less and it better be windy so or else it's just going to be too much so it'd be better to have a thinner pair of gloves that doesn't have the sausage fingers that i can actually have some dexterity and then just put my hands in my pockets if i need to all right because they have fleece lining in them too so if you're looking for a good hat check out the north face jim beanie this is last year's model they have new colors for this year the winter stuff's up on the website you can get these at Cabela's and Bass Pro also. I just bought uh, this one here, there, a few weeks ago. So I guess it's not last year's model. I lied. I, I remember I just bought this one. I have a different one like this that I use for running now because the little liner here is finally ripped after being washed 10 million times. But it's the same one, the Jim Beanie. Just is white here on the stitching. So I forgot I just got this one. So... If you're looking for a hat to keep you warm, especially around your forehead and your ears where it will block the wind, but you can still have some breathability here in this material, check out the North Face Gym Beanie. While you're there, you can see the other types of beanies or hats that they have, and you'll see if you can see by the picture that the material will be thicker, right? And it's not going to breathe as well, but these are a good hat that will keep you warm but it won't make your head sweat. So I would say that it would be for temperatures, give or take from 50 degrees down to like 20, 25. When it gets you know below that and it's windy, I myself will wear the other hat that's thicker and then I'll adjust my gear accordingly. But a majority of the time, I do like to wear these because the other ones are just so warm. Then I have to wear a lighter coat and lighter gloves and everything like that. So this kind of just works better with my heavier North Face coats. So check it out, the North Face Jim Beanie.